Batman. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who are fans of Lego Batman, the movie that just came out. Who's gotten to see that so far? Well, I went and saw it this weekend, and um, as some of you know, even though my channel's predominantly been Skylanders, um, I do collect all the LEGO Dimensions uh, figures and so forth, and I play the game a little bit. I'm not, I don't play it a, a ton, but I uh, really love the figures and, and love to collect that stuff. But I, I did go and pick up this um, LEGO Dimensions, the, the LEGO Batman movie uh, story pack, and this pretty much runs through the movie in the game Lego Dimensions. But what I want to do here today is I want to go ahead and get this opened up. And I want to build um, the, the um, part that fits on the toy pad. And um, I don't know that we'll get into all of the figures and stuff. I'll probably do that in another video uh, with some gameplay and so forth. But today the main thing I want to do is I want to build um, the bat computer, basically, that fits on the toy pad. And uh, so that's what we're going to try to get done today. So um, here anyway is the pack. And as you can see on the front, it comes with the Batwing and with Robin uh, from the Lego Batman movie, that version. And as long as with Batgirl and of course the Bat computer. And all together it's 156 pieces. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, so if uh, there's parts of it that seem like I'm dragging, you'll probably notice I'll just speed up the video uh, through parts if I'm puzzled or something or whatever. But um, there's a, an, a close-up of the Batgirl minifig that comes in the pack. And let's see, do they give us one? Of course, Robin's right there on the front. And as far as the back of the pack, it's just some scenes basically of in-game. Uh, and then the three different... Um, evolutions or reconfigurations of the Batwing. The Batwing to the Black Thunder, um, which is a different type of, uh, I guess, vehicle. And also Bat Tank, uh, right down here. So, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and let's see, I'm gonna need my utility knife. Where did I hide that sucker? And I'm going to just slice that open right there and right there. Don't cut yourself with these. These are razor, razor sharp. Ask your parents for help. And we're just going to open up the pack. And I'm just going to dump it all right out right there. And we're going to set this box right up on top of there for background fodder. So there's obviously the main piece. And we'll set that right there. And I am actually going to dump. I have this little plastic container over here. And I'm just going to dump all these parts into it. And I have a, a two compartmented... Thing. And I did that because if there are two bags in there, actually there are three, but um, bag one and bag two, I'm going to separate it. There we go. I think that's mostly the, uh, the vehicle in that second one, so I may not even have to end up touching uh, that compartment. And then we have our instruction booklet. And so I am going to be flipping through that um, while I build this thing. So I'll put that a little closer to me. Let's see, that's going to be Robin's tape, I can tell. And there's no telling what all that is, but that looks like a bunch of parts. Uh, and we'll see, we can see the, the minifig pieces in here. I can go ahead and pull those out to the side. There's, uh, there's Robin's. And then here, there's his torso. And then let's see, there's Batgirl's legs. And then Batgirl's face. And Batgirl's howl. And Robin's hair head thingy. And let's see. Not sure whose head that is yet. We'll find out. It's probably Robin's. And there's Robin's legs. What are we looking for in here? Let's see, in here are the capes. Probably have both Robin's capes and Batgirl's capes, I'm imagining. And it looks like they are 
identical. Except back girl, one of them is plain and one of them is scalloped. And let's see what else we got going on in here. So from the looks of it, this is going to have Batgirl's head. What else are we looking for? Maybe just the batarangs that they have? Let's see, she has a batarang. She's also got a belt. What else am I looking for? You know, Robin just has his head. Okay, that's everything for Robin. And then she has a belt in here somewhere, so there we go. I found it. That's her belt. And her hair. There's some hair in here for her. Alright. So I'm going to leave that kind of separate. And real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and take Batgirl. So we know she's got her legs. And she's got the her belt, utility belt. And on top of that, you've got the upper part of her body. And then you have her cape. And of course, you have to fold that over, stick that through, and then put the head on to lock that in. Let's see. I like the one with the lipstick facing forward, so we'll do that one. And then we'll stick on her cowl. And then we will put her hair on. And that is our Batgirl. Okay, you can see the Batgirl. And we'll set her off the side back here for right now, too. Stand her up. Oh, it's easier to stand her up. She's on her base, isn't it? So stick her on her base and put a batarang in her hand. And boom, there we go. So there is our bat girl. And then for Robin, we'll just put his feet on the base to start with. And then that part there. Cape. Next. Let's see. Stick it over that. Hold that one over there too. Crunch the head on top. And then stick the, oops, almost dropped him. Gotta be more careful. All right, so there's Robin. And then, all right, so we've got bad girl made we have Robin made, and then I need to move into um, the same building. Okay, you gotta put them on the toy pad. All right, so getting into building the toy pad. So we've got the main base that's here, and it is telling me that I need, it looks like this piece. And it looks like it goes there. And then in addition to that, it looks like this piece goes in front of it. So this is one of the first builds I've done. So I apologize if I'm not very polished at this. Um, like I said, this is going to be one of the first one of these that I've done uh, for an audience and on video. So if you guys have any instructions for me or any kind of, um, I guess, helping suggestions for future videos on how to put this together, um, I will absolutely entertain that and try to incorporate that into some future videos. So, it looks like I need one more of these. And 
There. So two of those and two of those. Got it. And then next, I am going to need two of these and one of... That's not that one. Not that one either. There. Okay. So, according to this, I'm going to need these two. And they're going to stem off of here. This little vent that's on the ground. And right there. And then this piece sits up on top back there. And that completes that one. And then this, it says I'm going to need one of these let's see one of these little stud double study things um one of I guess it's this right here and it says I need one of those one of these long doomer jobbers let's see that's actually a double There we go, right there. One of those and I'm assuming that one is black. Um, ah, no, it's actually something with a back computer -y thing on there. So it looks like this piece here. So, um, talks about taking this piece, putting the yellow on top, um, putting this right there and sticking the back computer thing or this little Duma jogger here and from the looks of it snapping it down into that position there and doesn't specify what angle but we'll probably see in the next picture yep they're wanting it kind of cocked at an angle there and so on this next one um, they're saying two of these grates here and two of these right there and it looks like one grate goes on top of this and let's see clips into there and the same thing on this side Kind of like in reverse. Bingo. Oops. But it came and clicked. There we go. The other thing, you gotta be careful not to move this stuff around too much because then you might actually lose your parts. Right? Okay, so now we need one red stud. And from the looks of it, it's a solid red, not a translucent one. And two of the little angled, long angled pieces. There's our other one. All right. And where are they going? Okay, so this is going up front and symmetrical side. And this little guy goes right, if I can get my fat little fingers in there, right there. And two of these, there we go. And I'm gonna try to count this up, so two back, two over. So it looks like they're going right there and symmetrical, so two over, two back right there 
so y'all can kind of see the progress that we're making so far. And now we have one of these pieces again. And one more of the bat pewter looking thingies. There we go. And so that obviously just sticks on top. And this is going to stick right in there. But not the other one. Hmm. What happens over there? Ah, a little different. All right, so we're going to need a grate. There is a grate. And we are going to need two of a little single. There we go. One of these. Oops, dropped it. And these right there. And one of these. I wish I knew if these had like specific names. I'm sure they do, but I just don't know what they are. Um, and then one black batarang. There we go. There's our little batarang in there. And then one of those that do jobby right there. All right, so according to this, I need that goes like that. Both of these go up front. So I'm curious as to, is this something, do you guys play a lot of LEGO Dimensions? Uh, did you play it at first? Not so much before, but now that Batman thing is out, you're gonna try it, get back into it, or how's all that working? Whoop, I messed this up. I gotta pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing. There we go. Move that over. Crunch that down in there. There we go. All right, so that's done. And then on this next one, it looks like just two of these gun do jobbies. And those gun do jobbies I'm talking about are these right here. Okay. And those are going to fit, looks like, into, I don't know why they didn't have me do this step before um, I put this in the, snapped it down into the toy. Because it's like they're wanting to come off anyway. There we go. Okay, that was simple. What else do we got? Ooh, we got one of these, these rods right here. Um, and what is that other thing? Some kind of, I guess it's this. Little elbow jobby. And from the looks of it, This just fits in there. Not sure what this means. This just goes there. Okay. I don't know why it's got the little three right here. Does anybody know what that's for? See how the instructions right there? It's got the little threes. It's not telling me I need three of them, but uh, there's just something, something about that. Don't really quite know what that means. All right, so it looks like it changes gears a little bit, and we're gonna start building the bat computer thing that goes in the back. And to start with it, we need a grate. and this square piece here. And that's just as simple as putting that on there. And then we also need this long dude jobby 
this. Um, which looks like they go on that and like that. And then there is this. And then two of those computer panels. I guess all these computer panels look alike. Um, it looks like they're getting me to turn them in different directions, so. I'm gonna put one like that, and one like that. All right, let's turn that one just a smidgen. We'll turn it like that, there we go. Okay. And then I need two of these and two of these. If I can find the other one. There we go. And what do I do with these things? Okay, from the looks of it, Take this back up and I put one underneath and this goes on top and same thing to the other side like that and then I need two more grates oh, there's a lot of these grates I'm grateful there's a lot of them. No kidding. Um, that was a really, really bad pun. Alright, so the blue goes on this, and the great goes in front of it. And then again, the great, this blue thing goes there. It goes in front of it. Okay. That looks like what I've got so far. A lot of little bitty parts to put this sucker together, I'm telling you. So, another computer part. Another grate. Regular piece. One of these little do jobbies. Now there's less and less pieces in this thing, it's becoming easier and easier to find them. And then one of these. And then the first time I've seen this one, little triangular piece. And so, what am I doing with these? So, according to this, one, two, buck bless you. Um, let's see, that face to the back, that face is the left. Where'd this piece go? Looks like this is facing right there. On the top in the corner. And the grate right in front of it. I don't know what this looks like. Ah, it's probably gonna be a wing. Yep. Because it's telling me to match this up on this side right there. Cool. I bet I'm gonna get to transpose our opposite of that here in a second. Nope, not quite, upper part. So, we are looking for, i get too ahead of myself here. I'm needing one of these, one grate, one of these, a glass component, these and one more of these and with that I take this that there 
Okay, this is different. That. And that. And that is going to hook into the top of this. There. Now, all over again, we have that computer part. Um, a grate. Oops, dropped it. One of these. One of these. What was that? Okay. One of the other pieces go. This is the part that's scary. Okay, one of these. And one of these. And then so from there, we take this piece, and this piece, and faces to the right. This piece hangs down. This piece goes on top. And this piece goes right there. And from there, this clips in to that. And so this is what we've got so far. Okay. Almost starting to look like the little bat. Let's see. And that was step 19, so we're, we're on step 20 at this point. And how many more steps do we have? Let's see. 24. Okay, we're almost done, actually. Cool. All right, so... To continue on, we need one of these, a grate, the one of these, one of these, okay, yellow piece, and this right here. And from there, Going to put that on. Now that. Let's see. And boom. And that fits on top. Right there. Doo -doo -doo. Getting closer. All right, now it's telling me to flip this thing over. So I'm gonna turn it over like that and then we can look at the back side of it, okay? And it says I need two of the little, these little yellow things. And we are gonna put them there and there. I don't know why, but I'm sure we'll get to it. And then there's also this and this, two of these. And they are going in this back slot right there. And then we need, let's see, one of these and the opposite one of those. And then two of these little talon looking things. And what are we doing with them? All right. From the looks of it, we're facing them inward. And I was supposed to put these on first, but I'll lift it up. And... Oops. I didn't quite go all the way on, did it? There we go. Ah, it's starting to look like little bat ears. That's cool. Okay. That was 23. And 24. Let's see, we're going to need, for 24, we need this piece. And it's one long rod. Um... And what do we do here? Looks like we cap this up over 
that, and then this slips up in there. We stick it up the butt, that's butt! And that's what we do. And then from there, this fits down in there. And that, I think, may have done it. Yes, that's it. We are done. Okay, and the only last thing you do is, according to these instructions here, is you gotta put uh, Robin and Batgirl in front. Like so, Robin and Batgirl. So, that is our instructions. I'm gonna pick this up real quick, give you a little bit closer look at the piece. And I actually do have the toy pad over here. And I'm gonna slide this over and actually set this down on top so you can kind of see what it looks like as you put uh, all the parts on. So that's what your toy pad will be like if you decide to go ahead and put that piece on. I actually usually play without anything on the toy pad, just the toy pad's bare. Uh, and I take these pieces off and I've got, um, you can actually see back in the back or maybe you can't, uh, back here I've got the Ghostbuster pack which I have yet to put together. If you guys like this video enough, and put enough thumbs up and tell me so in the comments that you want me to build the Ghostbuster pack, I will certainly make a video for that. Um, but um, I usually just put those in and save them um, and put them up on a shelf somewhere to, for just display. So anyway guys, um, I will be doing some LEGO Dimension gameplay of the uh, LEGO Batman movie uh, story pack. And um, so let me know um, if you have got this pack and if you've already put it together or not. If at the same time, if you like this video, don't forget to get the thumbs up and always, you know, you help the channel out a lot if you subscribe and then hit that notifications bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos. Uh, Skylanders, Lego Dimensions, uh, I'll be doing Light Seekers. You guys can see this uh, cool looking prototype that I did a video for unboxing in a previous video. So if you missed that, don't forget to go back and check it out. But um, we'll be doing some gameplay with these two little guys as well as the Batman and um, down up underneath here. Um, I have the Knight Rider and the Excalibur Batman. This will be probably one of the next videos that I do. Maybe not post it immediately, but I'll be making the video. And I'll uh, be unboxing and building Excalibur Batman. And then there's also Knight Rider and all kind of fun stuff. So some cool, cool stuff from LEGO Dimensions to come. Um, and um, I think that's about it. So appreciate you watching. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV. Signing off. Take care. See you in the next video. And God bless.